Hi everybody, welcome you all to my JavaScript tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will today discuss on some JavaScript map object. Okay, let's first open my Visual Studio. Okay, since my some previous tutorial, we were working on javascript basic functions and properties ok as you can see this is my previous lesson ok and then as you can see i have included this index.js into my uh, index.html using this source index.js ok and here we will write our code okay suppose uh, we want to uh, implement javascript math object but i think that instead of implementing all this math function here uh, here in the javascript we should use con uh, console log okay then i have to open my type server and then it will be better for us to implement all this in in this document console log okay is it okay this is my console and this is my editor okay and if i write if i uh, print something or if i do any kind of calculation here it will it will uh, it will uh, do everything and let me clear And suppose we want to uh, write here some math object function math object math we have to use math okay and then suppose this is these are the constants math the math long to math long 10 and we can see these are the constants suppose we want to have the value of constant pi and this is this are the this is the value of constant pi okay and then again suppose we want to uh, calculate sign value of a uh, these are the a sign sign a sign is hyperbolic sign and these are the function we can use with math, math function okay if i want to uh, calculate sign value of 30 okay then this is my uh, answer and we can use also cos or we can use also floor suppose math dot floor uh, it, it returns our floor value suppose i am having 4.7 and it will return our floor value of my given input 4 okay and suppose if i want to have the ceiling value then i have to use math.seal a c i l seal okay and if i again give here math.4 uh, math.7 uh, 4. 7 4.7 then it will uh, generate 5 okay as you can see it is giving me 5 and uh, if i use random function map dot random function okay not random round i will show you first round okay round a front a lot of built-in uh, available library function uh, in, we can use in the javascript round 4.6 it will return 5 because it is nearest round number is uh, 5 but if i give input here a ro on the round 4.4 then it's obviously it's nearest it, it's nearest uh, round number is 4 so that's why it's giving me 4 let me clear my editing display editor in this tutorial today we, uh, i will also design a gazing game okay okay then uh, these are the functions we can use uh, in our um, javascript program and another function for making a, a gazing game i have to uh, write here ma 
yes map to dot random okay then and this random function will generate any number between 1 to 0 1 to 0 okay it will generate any number 1 to 0 and then suppose I want to have any number between 1 to and 0 to 5 then I have to obviously I have to use I have to multiply it its value with 5 okay as you know it will generate 0 less than 1 okay 0 less than 1 math.random always return what 0 less than 1 that means random let me clarify it random returns less than 0 less than 0 sorry less than 1 greater than 0 okay so that's why it is not it will not return 1 so i will not have uh, 5 i will have 1 to uh, 0 to 4 and if i want to have 1 to 4 then must i have to use a plus 1 mat dot round not round random random and multiply it with 5 and plus 1 okay then it will every time it will generate a random number between 1 to 4 okay if i again as you can see it is changing the value and again it is changing the value okay okay let's start and design a gazing function gazing program uh, for this we have to go into our visual studio code editor here we have to ask a number from okay user so i am declaring var is equal to parse int you know this parse int will cast change my uh, input into a user from prompt function prompt enter your guess okay it will enter your its number and then i will define a, another number random Math dot random math dot random okay and I will multiply it with six and I will every time add it with one and that's uh, it and I will use a floor function okay mat dot floor okay that's enough i think okay and this will return one to five any number integer number okay then if my guessing entering number is equal to this uh, random number then i will be successful or the other uh, otherwise i will be wrong okay then if bar a Okay, if a is equal to is equal to ran, then I will write here document document dot write w r i document dot write you win sorry you win else else it will print 
it will print document dot write you loss and it will show your uh, and it will show my number okay and and you uh, and random num bar is random number it will show random number this is ram okay okay enough let's save it let me check if i input a three and you lost and random number is four okay again if i refresh uh, three and my random number is five if i again input two my random number is five if i again input five my random number is two if i again input three my random number is six if i again input five okay i am can't guess four shit five three I can't play with it one two four I'll always give it to six Kavito Hoda Okay, finally I win. So this is how we can make a gazing again using JavaScript. And thank you for today. Let's see in another tutorial uh, with another properties of JavaScript, function of JavaScript, method of JavaScript till then. Thank you all for today. Asalaamu Alaikum.